Undercover Boss is a reality series that follows high-level execs as they slip into entry-level jobs within their companies. Wow, so sneaky, and it's always fun to see how they perform, what they find, and how they interact with the employees, who we assume have no idea that the big boss is in the house. Tonight on News 6, a popular Italian ice chain will be in the Undercover Boss spotlight. News 6 insider guide Crystal Moyer is here now, and Crystal, you spoke with the co-owners of Rita's Italian Ice in Lake Buena Vista. Oh, I did. They were featured on the show and say when they opened their franchise, they had only communicated with the CEO via email or over the phone, so they didn't recognize her when she showed up in disguise. We were told we were filming a documentary about starting over after COVID, and it was like, yeah, six people are going to watch that, sure. <laughs> Andrew and Chip Byers, both co-owners of the Rita's Italian Ice Lake Buena Vista location, opened their doors to camera crews back in September. They thought they'd be evaluating a potential franchisee, Marcy Morgan, as part of the documentary. I had her do inventory with me, which, you know, counting cups is pretty tedious. <laughs> Later on, they'd find out she was actually Rita's CEO, Linda Chadwick, and they were filming the show Undercover Boss. The only regret I have is not being able to figure it out sooner. Because <laughs> I probably embarrassed myself once or twice in front of her. Linda went undercover visiting franchises like this one, participating in the day-to-day -day roles of its employees. It's not as easy as it looks. 371 on a credit card, okay? If they're paying with a credit card, swipe the card, and it's going to ask for how much the charge is. Oh, it's dialing, transmitting, receiving. Jeez, it's yep. taking some time. Hmm. Well, I was so nervous about wait, having customers wait in line because of my mess up that, um, you know, I wasn't concentrating well enough on like, oh, which button was that? Now, we've, we've we fixed that since, um, since my experience there, but uh, that was very nerve wracking. During the show, Chip brings awareness to a challenge many people are facing in the workforce. I am an autistic person and seeing autistic people as business owners is not that common. I got this job after years of being rejected for no reason whatsoever because people just, you put your autistic on your resume, on your resume, you mention, you know, oh, I need special accommodations. That application goes in the trash. It's the experience through Undercover Boss that Linda says opened the door for more conversation that led to improvements in the company's diversity and inclusion initiatives. CEOs should get in the trenches with their franchisees and try to, you know, understand what, every level of the job. And try yeah. to figure out ways that we can all improve together. Now, Rita's is, built, is based in Philly and visiting the local franchise. The CEO says she realizes there are different demands for different markets and says customers can expect regional flavors of Italian ice this year. She says it was an incredible experience, but made her a bit uncomfortable with the cameras, you know, following her from the moment she woke up to the moment she went to bed. I had to ask, who comes up with the disguises for the show? Every day I was told what I was going to wear, how my hair was going to be. And basically it's like here, right down to the jewelry, to the jewelry, to the, to the shoes, even the glasses. So my children thought that that was hilarious. And um, they were like, really, really, you, you don't, don't think you're going to wear that kind of outfit ongoing mom. It's not going to work for you. <laughs> That's awesome. I would love that job. Yeah. Here, this is what you're going to wear. Right. <laughs> Well, and, and I love the two that you talked to. I mean, how did they how did they meet? Is well, there is there a the, story behind there? Yes, it's really cool. Well, uh, Chip is actually from Philadelphia. That's why he mm -hmm. moved to Florida and was like, hey, they don't have any readers here. Well, the two met at Disney. They were both, they said they met cleaning one of those, um, you know, the big turkey legs? Uh -huh, one yeah. of those machines. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, so random. And so they decided to, you know, get into the business together and start a franchise. They're actually opening a new Rita's franchise off of iDrive uh, coming yes. up in the spring. So that's some good news there. The new episode of Undercover Boss airs tonight at 8 p.m. right here on News 6. I right. love it. They're and, such an yeah. inspiration. They are great. And I, I like to go to the one there in Melbourne. There's, there's, they're all over Central oh, yeah. Florida. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Crystal, thank you.